Welcome back, Five Aces. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here. Merry Christmas, everyone. And now get back to the front lines, Tovarish. Oh, that's right. We're up for, we're due for another ladder match here. This is gonna be hype. I haven't cast it in a week. Apologies for the absence, but you know, Christmas related uh, shenanigans. I was just unavailable for the time being. But we're back at it, and our players introducing a man whom I've definitely casted before and a newcomer to the channel, which, well, puts me in the position of the newcomer rather. This is gonna be as spawning in as the Wehrmacht, not picking a commander yet, Mr. Theodosius. And he is gonna be matched up against someone who we've definitely met before and uh, it's the angry dutchman and he's at least 20 percent angrier than before so uh, let's let's keep an eye out for that one yeah i'm really happy to be back in company of heroes too i also have this uh weird mixture right now where i'm um both overstuffed overgorged and also exhausted because i've uh, done some sports afterwards after overeating and time to get test out my new gear because i got some bought myself some wireless headphones courtesy of um, my significant other who gifted me some really cool headphones right there. Let's test that out. Also, the sound mixing should be better now. So, yeah, toned myself, cranked myself up a bit and toned the musics down. Be that as it may, this is going to be an MG42 opener, Pioneer Fox Grenadier into MG42, or regular Grenadier. And that is kind of the classic BO, which, yes, body odor, obviously. And up against... Uh, the commander pick for uh, for the Angry Dutchman is going to be God, a rifle combined arms tactics. This is one that we haven't seen before. It offers one particular perk that I don't see much use out of, but uh, we're going to discuss it regardless. This is going to be the KB-1 heavy tank. Comes at uh, tier 0, but obviously you need to have tier 4 to actually unlock it. So <laughs> this is not, not the front-loaded perk. Yep, suppression already kicking in. Goodbye. <laughs> this way out, please. This way out or get pinned. The pin, uh, oh, spreading nicely as well. Bad start. MG up to a very good suppression uh, start here. Yeah, KB-1 is a very durable tank and a very solid all-rounder, but it lacks the punch that some of the heavies, heavies do. It's like a weird mixture. It is. It has the armor and chassis of a heavy, but definitely not the damage potential of a heavy. So kind of a 50-50 there. Uh, an intermediate tank and moderately effective. And then there's going to be God's Rifles. We've seen them before. Very good infantry, very versatile and useful. Then we've got the Conscript Assault Tactics, which is an upgrade per individual Conscript Squad that gives him three PPSH submachine guns and makes him into close quarters combat specialists. Super interesting, but from what I've heard, I've never actually tested it. It is not that effective. Oh, yellow cover here for the Engineers, so they might actually stand to win this engagement. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Fail to drop a model in time and thus suffer the consequences. Then we've got uh, ourselves access to the ML20 152mm gun howitzer, which is also a stationary uh, gun, just like the uh, just like the light gun we've seen last cast. So that one is pretty solid. Also has auto fire. And then we've got access to the Sturmovik attacks, which is a loiter. Ooh, we're already seeing the flamer out. Very good. That is going to be very very effective against. Gets too low though. It's probably going to be forced to yield. Going to be very effective with for smoking out MGs and whatnot. Another flamer burst. Oh wow! All the models are so low. This might be a squad wipe. <laughs> uh oh! You need to book it, my friend. Yeah. Engie's getting out. Probably just in the nick of time, on both sides. But triple cap frontline established for the German player. And MG42 was just dislocated a little bit. Just push back. This is the classic situation where um, you don't know how long this game is gonna go, right? This might, this might be, we might be in for 20 minutes, we might be in for one and a half hours. It tends to be more towards the one and a half hour side of things, let me tell you that. So model wipes definitely thus far in favor of the Germans. Soviets haven't really gained much ground, much, uh, not really many boots on the ground thus far. And also the roster seems woefully underwhelming for that time of the game. Didn't he start double NGs? He lost an NG squad somewhere, yikes. Forensic, uh, like forensic deduction skills here in, in action. But nice wall off of the, with the razor wire. That is gonna be an asset in the mid to late game, unless it gets destroyed. 
The NG is probably waiting for a flank here, but can't really find the connection and more and more model wipes. This is starting to look like a one-sided affair and the Angry Dutchman is on the receiving end. Needs probably tier 2. Realistically, a mortar, like some mortar support for smoking off the MG would be a good option. Also, maybe a Ziskan barrage here or there. Might be in order, in order to smoke out the Germans and dislocate them. Thus far though, man, it's looking bleak. Okay, tier 2 is at least out, so the preemptive Ziskan just uh, in sync with the uh, 2 to 2 scout car. Medics are also online now. <laughs> Always love the way. Um, by the way, I've just taken a look at my Steam stats for Company of Heroes 2, and one thing I have to mention is that I'm apparently playing Soviets wrong, because there's an achievement that, um, that you get for winning, I think, 50 victory point games with a KD ratio of uh, below 0 0.5, so losing twice uh, as many units as you destroy. And I haven't gotten a single one out of 50 uh, on the progress bar. So that means I have never lost a, uh, or never won a game with a uh, 0 0.5 KD as Soviets. Which means I just need to throw more units into the meat grinder. That is the takeaway lesson here. But yeah, scout car is out and online. Out and about, ready to take some names. 18 nades have not yet been unlocked, so this is a pretty good timing window, but... KFC 222 takes a shot to the uh, to the armor, to the armor plating there. Wow, the attack round, but that barely missed. That was a really good predictive shot. This gun pushing forward just a bit. Does he have line of sight? Ah, barely no line of sight here. Yeah, now it should be. Oh, he's opting for the this gun barrage instead. Yeah, probably smart. Probably smart. Forces a retreat on the MG, and that was a lucky... Ooh, lucky dodge there. This might have gone very solid very quickly. But double fuel. Yeah. Double fuel has been in the hands of the Axis for quite a while. Oh, well, that's the fuel point. Never mind. This is uh, starting to be a rough spot for, for Dutchman. He has connected the territory now, but it was disconnected at least for a while. The squad taking a beating at the hands of some vetted up grenadiers. Mm, ah, no M MG42 just yet. Okay, out come the Panzergrenadiere. Obviously just a bang for buck upgrade of the regular grins. And they have bundle nades, so um, no doctrine just yet. Those are non-doctrinal. Okay. TIL. This gun probably gonna get overrun in just a second. Lots of squads converging. Oh, someone asked if I could show the tactical map a bit more. I will definitely do that. Haven't got, haven't gotten much use out of the tactical map just yet, because it is on an, on a hotkey that is very unobtainable to me, like for my playstyle on my keyboard. Okay, out comes a T70. That is probably a good thing here. No AT gun just yet. One is in the makings. Park 42 is about to come out. At least a stripe of veterancy, a speck of veterancy on the conscript squad here. Three model kills. Yeah, and this point has been disconnected and taken over by the Germans, like, look. And not one to call the games early, there's definitely, especially in Company of Heroes 2, there's always a chance they're coming back, and with the roster this small, you just stack up manpower faster. Dying to Soviet might, alright. MG getting forced away again, lots of health damage on, onto that one, but no actual wipe just yet. Man, that, that one got so lucky. Got away scot free, but it's now pretty much easy prey. It's a little snack on the go for the T70. One victory point, crucially, is now in the hands of Angry Dutchman, but uh, he needs to get a lot angry before he starts taking over this game. Look, you definitely may want to invest into some tier 3 or something of the likes. Pack, oh, it's a pack 40, not a pack 42, my apologies. T-17 a bad way, gets forced away. Oh, turning around the Ziskan. He's spending pretty much all of his barrage. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Ooh, an instant decrew! Yeah, well, that's what happens when you leave your leave your MG weapon teams around at like 20% HP. Oh, might be a time to overrun. Ah, he doesn't have the Flamer NG. He lost the Flamer NG. 
I was unaware. I thought it would, would have lost the regular unupgraded NG. That is even worse than I thought. The Panzergrenadiere out in negative cover. But, fortunately, this hedge providing some much needed reprieve and cover. Oh, this might be a wipe. With a lucky shot. No. Can't take the shot. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, and you also in Company Furious 2, you miss 100% of the shots you take over hedges. That is uh, the Company of Heroes' ancient old wisdom. Finally reclaiming their field point is uh, Angry Dutchman. There's a squad of guards' rifles out. Haven't done much just yet. Oh, but that's a nasty nade. Wow. That was really good. So the guards can obviously be upgraded with DP LMGs. Which gives them some, some pretty good punch. And their bundle nades are also very strong. Ooh, ambush camouflage. Oh, so the doctrine has been picked here and it is Jäger infantry doctrine. Okay, okay, that is a spicy one. This is one of those doctrines that completely changes your game plan. But it comes at a caveat. It doesn't really have any late game crazy call in. So, ambush training. You pay, I think, 20 munitions to activate this one. Yep, 20 munis. To camouflage yourself, so you can come in for an ambush bonus. Pretty useful, pretty cool, but uh, very flashy, but also hard to pull off. Then, Jäger Light Infantry upgrade. Combat infantry can uh, be upgraded with two Chief 43s. I don't know how strong they are. And they can interrogate wounded soldiers, which means that if there is a every model that is considered dead by the engine, but still gets to crawl around on the floor, like... We're gonna keep an eye out for that one. Sometimes it happens. It's an RNG thing. So if there's a model crawling around on the floor and you happen to activate the interrogation on it, you reveal all uh, all positions on the all enemy positions on the map instantly for a while. It's like a map hack uh, for a limited duration. Limited warranty map hack. The grenadiers. Starting to push onto the ZIS guns. Oh, they found a nasty window, but there's the T-70 and a, a wave of conscripts plus guards rifles. Should definitely be able to push this one back. Make him stand their ground. Yeah. So, Dutchman still clinging onto this game. All right. So, let's go over this commander again. Um, Jäger Command Squad. Those are also like sniper hunters. They're support units. They can uh, cloak from what I remember. Ooh, what's that a mine exploding? They are one of those infantry where you don't want to fight with them head on. You always want to keep them behind a uh, line of sight blockers. You want to keep them in cover, sneak from cover to cover, like the commandos of the Brits, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the light artillery barrage, which is, yeah, it's a light, it's light, it's an artillery barrage. It does what it says on the tin. And last but not least, we've got the Stuck close air support. Very expensive, very strong, but ultimately it's a call in. And that's the one that does moderate damage against everything. I mean, good damage against infantry, moderate damage against vehicles. But it's nothing that instantly ends a game. It is just a zoning tool rather than anything else. Zoning and AoE damage. So at the end of the day, nothing that ends games. N no crazy call-in, like, uh, like you would see with a Tiger Ace or something. So there's the, the one caveat that this commander has. It is very mid-game and uh, tempo-focused, I would say. Front lines have been established here, a very nice concave, the Soviets holding out. But on two victory points, despite controlling less territory. Interesting. Alright, guards rifles behind heavy cover, very good. There is now a P4 on the menu, but it's gonna be met with uh, two Zis guns, that's alright. Two Zis guns, that is definitely a manageable position. Where's the pack? Okay, here it is, thundering away. Wow! Good shot onto the onto the Volksgrenadiere. A oh, Panzergrenadiere. I always get them mixed up. Also, it, it doesn't like mean anything per se. It's like grenadiers of the people. Especially the the very liberal use of the of the German army of the word Panzer is hilarious because there's also like the Panzerwerfer. It is a tank launcher, but it doesn't actually launch tanks. I was very disappointed to find that out. Ooh, wow. No model wipes from this grenade, but still a fallback. Flash fallback has been forced. 
Plus the um, trip mine flare went, went off as well, but didn't kill a model either. Hmm. Curious. Yeah, finally the M, uh, the Maxim is up here as a sort of semi zoning counter for the MG42. But we've seen how that one is go, how that one usually goes. As soon as the as soon as uh, the Maxim starts opening up and the MG42 starts opening up, one of the two is going to be suppressed, and it ain't going to be the MG42. The way the cookie crumbles, Panzer Fear thundering away at the T70. That one is stricken and dead. That uh, it has lived a good life though. It has been quite successful in its time, in its heyday. There's a squad of conscripts. Could uh, now reclaim this point here. That's pretty good. But still, Angry Dutchman is so far behind on the VP control. He definitely needs to do something to address that. And a very smart purchase has been added into the German roster. That is the GR34. Yes, GRW34 motor team. That one is just uh, very good at chipping away at infantry. Chipping away at static D. Chipping away at stationary uh, positions and fortified fighting positions, such as this one. Because that has been a sore spot that has not been breached just yet. Not in a meaningful way, anyway. Alright. SDKFC pulling away here. Ooh, this would be a nice ambush position for this Grenadier squad. Get into the church, get mad value. He's preemptively barraging the church here. Still only one NG squad, so if there's ever going to be any significant armor, um, it is definitely going to be uh, hard to repair that one. Immediate flash fallback here. Probably... Ooh, lucky. Probably premature. Here is the P4, not taking any damage from the guards' rifles whatsoever. Ooh, definitely taking a chunk from the Sis gun though. Sis gun has relocated. And the Maxim frantically setting up. Is he gonna get a suppression in time? Should definitely be able to, yep. And with the suppression kicking in, that uh, lowers the DPS to such a significant degree that you can't really call that a combat squad anymore. All right, there is uh, the light artillery barrage. Oh, nasty. Killing the gunner, this is gonna be a death loop. Yep. Good night, sweet prince. Down goes the Maxim. Good use of the artillery barrage here. And there's also the pack setting up just just perfectly out of range here. This guns are uh, trying to set up a counter concave. Oh no. Oh no, this is the Maxim falling into the hands of the German player. Is that a T-34 being sacked? Oh, oh no. Oh no, this is terrible news. And both the barrages are on cooldown now. So that ultimately just means that there is going to be two MGs traded over to Theodosius. Man, I really gotta say, he has put on a great show for himself there. Counter Mortar is now out, or coming out. About to come out. The core infantry is looking so, so good for the German player. Theodosius giving us a masterclass here. And thus far, the yeah, this commander hasn't really paid off. God Rifle combined combined arms is um is an iffy commander, I think. Conscript assault tactics never get used, which is bad because it also gives them the uh, hit the dirt ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the dirt gives you increased uh, defense and suppression resistance, which is a super interesting concept. It just never you can never find a use case for that one. Ooh, the second Sis gun has acquired the Panzerfia. That is something. <laughs> Ooh, grenade. Where, where, where? Mm, missed it. Some seven man squads have uh, started appearing on the roster. But those German squads definitely not taking prisoners. I mean, they have the upgrade to take prisoners, but they're opting not to. <laughs> so there's that. Um, PM Motor Squad has not found any. Wipes or kills just yet. Has been completely useless thus far. Rip. And the southern perimeter is falling to the German ha into German hands as well. Some mines being planted. Telemines from Theodosius, so the next T-34 is going to be easy fodder. 
at least there is one upgraded conscript squad here. Angry Dutchman up against it. Up against the ropes under a triple cap, bleeding out, lacking suffering on map control. There is now a second T um, P4 to deal with. I really doubt this is going to be a way out for him. Uh, one T34, two T T34s. That is not critical mass just yet. That is not period. You ain't go gonna go period in this game, my friend. T34. And if you are, you're gonna die a very quick and horrible death. As is the fate of all T-34s. Alright, conscripts trying to mo- Ah, that could be... No, no wipe. I gotta say, the squad preservation has been insane from Theodosius. He hasn't, as far as I can tell, he hasn't lost a single squad. He's lost a, an MG-34 once, but recruited immediately. This has been some of the best unit preservation I've seen. Guards with the upgraded uh, guns can, by the way, also button vehicles, which shatters vision, uh, shatters and disrupts the vision, uh, and reduces movement speed and rate of fire, which is a super useful light anti-tank ability. All right, Sturmovic is available, but are 200 muties in the bank? Definitely not. He has spent it all. He has splurged. Oh, that's a wipe. He has splurged on this gun barrages here. You are showing weakness. <laughs> Most definitely. There are definitely some holes in this armor. But speaking of holes in the armor, one of the P4s is uh, forced back. And the guard's rifle are starting to chew through the pack gun. All right. A little better of a position now. But uh, man, the MG42. You should put that in ambush camouflage. Because he... You should not uh, discount the damage bonus uh, the opening barrage gives you. I think it works for team weapons, I'm not sure, but... Definitely sounds like it. Oh, that was a crazy hit from the Ziskan barrage. Ooh, lucky that squad was spread out. Sometimes they're spread out like this and it prevents them from being wiped by a mortar, s mortar shell. Very low health Khan squad is gonna manage to exfiltrate. But now there's nothing stopping the Grins and the P Grins from advancing. And this might just be the nail in the coffin. Trailing 33 tickets under... Yeah. Under 450. Look, even if you gain map control, you now have to hold for half an hour. Oh, what a nade. Slightly into the retreat path. And there is no munis for any game-changing barrages or the loiter. No fuel or munis for the gun howitzer. No fuel or munis for the Sturmovik. No. This ain't looking too hot. Another squad down here. Uh, was the MG again. In comes the light artillery barrage yet again. This gun's trying to turn, frantically trying to get the best, uh, better of this Panzerfia. I think this is a dead Panzerfia. Yep. Okay. The second Panzerfia is still, still around in the hood. Oh, bouncing! That is a rare one. Spit roast. Here's uh, the cl El Classic. Oh, main gun destroyed crit. You know what this means? A field that You gotta be kidding me! So what happened here is an abandoned abandoned vehicle critical. This is uh, a window of opportunity to recapture a Panzerfear. Problem is, he's on 60 tickets and trailing, so I doubt he's got the time to utilize this. As impressive and as lucky as that was, there is just no time for recruiting the Panzerfear. I'm sorry, Angry Dutchman. I don't. I doubt you'll manage to to pull this back, game back. Regardless, had he would he have the time to actually uh, repurpose the P4, he would stand a chance. But like this, mm. if this if then this is going to be one of the clutchest games I would ever have seen in my life. All right, Panzergrenadier is getting reasonably low. Uh oh, retreat! A mere fifty points. Oh, there's another P4 in the menu as well. <laughs> Man, what a game from Theodosius. I really have to check his uh, his stats on the leaderboard. This guy seems like he definitely knows what they're doing. Ooh, backline capture. That is big. Oh, uh, that's a light artillery barrage being called down. Yep. I mean, seems a bit excessive, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, neutralizing the point. That, that was the big ticket. Also getting away with the Khan squad. 
impressive hold thus far. Is there a ray of hope for Angry Dutchman? Can he regain his anger? He needs to harness all of his anger and uh, put it into the Panzer IV plan. Look, the, the roster is so depleted now. How many squads has uh, Theodosius lost over the last line of play? Oh my goodness, is this gonna be a comeback? Okay. Ziskan Barrage definitely gonna be targeted here, yep. Now it comes as this Barrage, wow! Obliterating the gunner! There ain't nothing much left here, huh? Yeah, the death animations are really gruesome, by the way. Uh, I usually don't highlight it, because it, it happens a lot. Just randomly. Oh, one of the T-34s going down, but... But wait, there is more! Unlucky. Uh, other T-34 definitely needs to push back the Panzergrenadiere so that they can't... Oh, they did neutralize the point. That is a problem. That is definitely a problem here. Guards are pushing onto the P-4. The freshly acquired P-4 need to yield. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, at least Angry Dutchman has stabilized on two VPs for now. For now. The Zis gun. Oh, holding the line here. On basically zero health. I mean, the pack might go down. No, there's an MG. Suppression kicking in, DPS neutered. Maybe a ramming maneuver. Oh, bouncing the shot. And... That was act. I think that is worth it, if he gets it. Yep. Maybe able to exfiltrate. Okay, okay. This is really good. There's a Soviet P4 in the hood. What? Oh my goodness, he actually did it, the madman. Theodosius, you played your heart out. Okay, I, I really gotta say something real quick. The competitive scene is insane, and uh, now I've casted the last game last week, and back to back, I've casted two of the most intense and hype games and comebacks ever. This is why I love Company of Heroes 2. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Angry Dutchman up against it on 28 VPs, manages to kill all the armors somehow, retrieve one of the P4s off a lucky abandoned vehicle critical, and just steamroll over. Swing back the other way and just, yeah, take out Theodosius, who by the way was playing fantastically until the mid to late game. Just no squad losses save for one MG34 that got instantly recruited. But ultimately just paying the price for uh, stretching himself a bit too thin. Man. Yeah, that dive was too deep. And that is something that can always happen. If you take a dive, th that's why you don't base dive, by the way. Uh, in Company Furious 2, yes, tanks are strong. They are sometimes, if your opponent doesn't have the AT in position, they can overwhelm your opponent. But sometimes this happens. Sometimes you donate the P4 to your opponent and <laughs> no way of coming back then. What a game. All right. Quit the match. This was a bit on the shorter side compared to the other ones, but uh, definitely one of the sweetest games I've ever casted. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. I hope the sound settings were better this time around. Just to put myself down a notch, or up a notch, and game sounds down a notch. Oh, also sorry, to, uh, someone told me that I should disable VSync. I forgot to do that. We'll do that for next cast. And there's going to be some 2v2 team games uh, on the menu in the next casts. Because I definitely want to get into the 2v2 meta. That is something that is also on the menu. Yeah, the Angry Dutchman. I, I feel like he lost so many more units, but it doesn't look like it. He killed lots of models. At least in the early game, he was bleeding. Uh, if we check that, yep. Yeah, it was like model loss, model loss, model loss. Always keep flatlining. Then he was... He was up against it in the mid-game. Alright, let's check the stats. Obviously, core infantry are always going to be good. Pack guns are always going to be good if your opponent is building a, any semblance of armor. Scout car surprisingly good. The Panzer Fears, he lost all three of them. He was too aggressive with them. The third one got dove, but the, the other two... Mm. That uh, dive into two Zis guns, just a little too ambitious. What a game. So with that... Merry Christmas, and uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays regardless, then uh, you're still going to have some two weeks off, which is good. I'm going to be casting a lot right now because my significant other and my my uh, girl, like my baby, are going to be out for a week. 
So I'm going to be home alone, so some time for casting. And definitely going to be casting the Dark Tournament in Open RA. Check that one out as well. That is also really hype, even if you come from Company Furious too. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, which is going to be soon. Five aces, out.